so try to start the we have completed the first filing so we have already seen the picture uh, of this second filing so second filling is shorter than the first first is that and located obliquely downward and forward in directions in between first and third filling proximally forming a joint first and joint and distally forming the joint that is the coping joint distal surface like the first filling is divided into two part which comes in contact with the third filings and also included as the part of hoof because it is a look like the long bone so it contains two extremity and as such proximal extremity and distal extremity proximal extremity made up of two glenoid cavity proximally that is comes in contact with the distal part of the first filing and out of two glenoid cavity abaxial is larger how and why it is larger we have already discussed and axial is a smaller volar means plantar surface plantar surface presents two tubercle for the attachment of superficial flexor tendon muscles okay so this is saying about this one this is the second filing it comes in contact with the first filing with its distal part of this in the form of two condyle and having the two tubercle here axial and axial and abaxial abaxial is larger and higher in position than the axial and here plantar surface this is also having this teeth tubercle for the attachment of tendon of the flexor group of muscles so this is about the proximal part of the second phalanx okay and proximal part posteriorly or means it's when uh, which plantar surface contains two tubercle for the superficial flexor tendon muscle and dorsally in this is glenoid cavity for the attachment of the meta uh, first phalanx of the distal part set where in first phalanx they having four surfaces but here having only three surfaces volar surface means plantar surface is flat and is in caught on the distal articular facet distal articular area abaxial means lateral is rough rounded and irregular concave while axial is flat distal extremity is a smaller and divided by a sagittal groove into two condyle this this sentence is saying about this one this distal part this distal part you see here this distal part is divided into two part here also divided first is divided into two part by a sagittal groove this is the sagittal groove one will the lateral or medial but here should be abaxial and axial this is the axial part so what the axis means medially is axial and this is the abaxial so distally distal part of the second phalanx divided into two tubercles by a sagittal groove this is the sagittal groove okay and it articulate with the superficial face of the third phalanx and distal sesamoid bone so you have already seen this sentence is saying about this one this one this is here the position of sesamoid bone this is the sesamoid bone so distal part of the second phalanx divided into two parts by a sagittal groove and having a facet for this distal sesamoid bone or this is the distal sesamoid bone position of distal sesamoid bone so location of distal sesamoid bone in which joint if anybody asks to you distal sesamoid bone is located in which joint asphi sir fit lo first ka the second or third phalanx ke beech mein hota matlab fit lo first ka cap mein hoga sir i am asking about the name of joint distal is somewhere is located in uh it look past caffeine joint sir caffeine joint if the pastern joint contains any sesamoid bones in case of the ox if pastern joint contains any yes sir first question sir if pastern joint true and false if pastern joint contains any sesamoid hmm. bones in case of the ox no sir no means, means, nahi, sir, no sir no ah, sir okay means sesamoid bones located on the fetlock joint and near the 
coffin joint. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the last sentence is saying about the second okay. filling. Yes. Second filling on its plantar surface, distally divided into two two parts, two tubercle by a sagittal group, and its plantar surface having the articular facet for the distal sesamoid one. So this is sentence. Distal extremity is smaller and divided by a sagittal group into two condyle, abaxial and axial. Abaxial is larger and higher in position, and it articulates with the posterior face of the third phalanx below and for the distal sesamoid one behind. I think this is clear up to this. Okay, so we have completed the second phalanx. Next is third phalanx. Third phalanx is also known as ospedis. Third phalanx is also known as ospedis. And it's the short bone entirely enclosed the hoof. Means if anybody asks you which phalanx play major role for the formation of hoof, that is the third phalanx. And it located in between. Yeah, located just above the second phalanx and comes in contact with the ground. So just above the second phalanx comes in contact. It's the two tubercle and forms a joint that is known as coffin joint. And for description, it contains four surfaces and uh, angle and an angle. So we will see in the picture what are the four surfaces and what uh, what is the angle. So first is superior surface, inferior or solar surface, interdigital surface, okay, and bolar surface, superficial, inferior, interdigital. You see here in this picture, there are four surfaces. What are the four surfaces? This is the superficial surface from here to here, here to here. And below that, this is the solar surface. This is the solar surface. And this is the interdigital surface. This is the interdigital surface. Means two digits comes in contact with each other. So this is the superior surface from here to here. This one. This is the interdigital surface and behind that means this one this one is the solar surface this one is the solar surface this one okay and one is angle from here to here this consider as the angle this one so we will discuss here third phalanx of the ox for description yes third phalanx for the description bolo bolo इंटरडिजिटल सरफेस को इंटरडिजिटल क्यों बोले उसको एक्सियल भी तो बोल सकते हैं right, बोल सकते हैं इंटरडिजिटल को इंटर एक्सियल सरफेस भी कर सकते हैं लेकिन इफ दैट विल बी इंटरडिजिटल इज मॉट परफेक्ट बिकॉज इट इज द एरिया और सरफेस व्हिच लोकेटेड इन बिटवीन टू डिजिट फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर सो दिस सरफेस फॉर दिस वन इफ यू से एक्सियल सरफेस दैट विल बी राइट ओके सर बट इंटरडिजिटल सरफेस इज No yes, man, it from here to here. This one because this all are digit, na? This all are digit. So this surface not only the interdigital surface yes, for the sir. third phalanx, yes. but it should be also for the second and third phalanx. But correct is that from distal end of large metatarsal to the uh, uh, and uh, to the last part of the third phalanx. This is known as interdigital area, and this surface, axial surface for the individual bones. But from here to here, total in known as interdigital surface. Okay, so there are this surface. This is the solar surface, sole, talwa, solar surface, interdigital surface, and anterior part. This is the so uh, superficial surface. Okay, and this is the yes, angle. Sir. Angle. So uh, we will go through this one. And what are the structures present in this particular area? We will discuss here. So this is the third phalanx. It is also known as ospedis, and entirely hoof. Comes in contact with this. Probably is in contact with the second phalanx, forms some joint, coffin joint, and contains four surfaces on an angle. Superficial surface is a articular surface and present two area for the distal extremity of second phalanx. Posterior surface is saying here having two area. This is for the distal extremity of second phalanx and a, a small facet. And a, a small facet posteriorly or towards the volar border for the distal sesamoid one. So this sentence is saying about the superficial surface. This one is the superficial surface. This one, 
this one is the superficial surface proximally having a articular area this articular area proximally having that articular area for this tubercle of the second film and they comes in contact to each other forming a joint that in the coffin joint and behind that behind that means this area superficial area behind this means volar surface having this articular facet this articular facet for the distal sesamoid bone for the distal sesamoid bone so this is clear up to this i think this is clear we have only discussed that this is the uh, third phalanx also known as ospides and its total structure is considered as the hoop and located below the second phalanx forming a joint is coffin joint for description having the four surface and uh, angle out of four surface first is superficial surface located superficially and having the two articular area for the sesamoid bone and behind that means behind the solar part behind the uh, posterior in post posterior volar part having the articular area for the distal sesamoid bone inferior surface or solar surface this is the inferior surface this is the inferior surface solar surface it is somewhat flat you see here somewhat uh, smooth and flat this sentence will clear inferior surface or non solar surface is nearly flat and wide in the middle of the narrowest in front this sentence is saying this surface is uh, flat and or the middle part here here is more wide in comparison from here to here up to the middle one this is the wide and gradually it constrict uh, size uh, wideness is decreases and become converted in this pointed part this is converted into angle so this is the about the solar surface this is flat and wide in up to the middle part and narrowest in front in contact with the some sensitive sole sensitive lamina are present which indicates the sensation of pain if any injury happens in this solar surface during the walking during the running of animal first part of the phalanx or digits will affected that will be the third phalanx because it comes in contact with the ground and out of this third phalanx mostly this solar surface will comes in contact with the ground and is for wearing of the any injury that will be happen during the walking during the uh, during the running or any condition so this surface contains more sensitive lamina that is in the form of sensitive soul of life which is responsible for the sensation of any happening with this structure next is interdistal surface means those manka has pointed this is the axial surface is a smooth and grooved below and rough the porous above he is saying about this one this is the groove this structure interdistal surface is groove and here having the some foramina but not it is well developed as a foramen this is the minute structures hole a small tiny hole this is known as solar which is for the sensation of or having the lamina sensitive lamina which play a major role for to provide sensation so digital surface interdigital surface is located in between two digits in between two axial surface of this phalanx that is a smooth grooved and having the some porous structure and it presents a large foramina near the extensor process that is known as volar foramina volar foramina we will see in this bone i will see you later on so this is up to this uh, structures of the so next is laminar surface we have completed the three surfaces superficial surface solar surface and next last is laminar surface out of this four this is completed superficial surface so you have must idea which surface is called this is called superficial surface from here to here okay those which comes in contact with second phalanx superficial surface and this is the interdigital we have completed this is the inter so superficial is completed interdigital is completed next solar is completed and this part from here to here is known as laminar surface this is known as laminar surface so there is some important point regarding the superficial facet having the two articular facet which comes in contact with this one second in second of the uh, last uh, second of uh, second phalanx of the distal part forming a joint coffin joint and posteriorly having articular surface for the second uh, so for the distal sesamoid bone 
and this abaxial surface is this is the axial surface or interdigital surface is a smooth and having the some porous this is the porous you see here minute structure here this is the porous and this is the solar surface this is wide up to the middle and narrow behind and anteriorly it is pointed forming the angle so remaining is this is lamellar surface this is the lamellar surface so you see here lamellar surface is slope you see it gradually it becomes slope from here to here slope lamellar surface is slope this is the lamellar surface this one lamellar this is the superficial superior surface so three surface are here this is the superficial surface this is the lamellar surface and this is the solar surface and this is the interdigital surface means four surface are cleared here so lamellar surface is slope from proximal to distal part and also towards the posteriorly and distally it traversed by a preplantar group with the several foramina and most posterior of these is large surface is covered by the sensitive lamina in life here also the sensitive lamina are present as this one sensitive lamina in this part sensitive lamina here also sensitive lamina present in the form of porous lamina and this is here also is sensitive and all a structure except except this part all a structure having a porous structure minute whole structure which is for the minute blood vessels and nerve that is in the form of sensitive lamina the surface is covered by the sensitive lamina in life at the extreme upper part of the dorsal border is extensor process for the common digital extensor muscle See, this sentence is saying about this is the extensor part here because here to here is the laminar surface so this part from here to here and here to here this one those prominent part is for the tendon of common digital extensor muscle volar border is thick for the attachment of deep flexor digit and angle is bland process as the extreme posterior part of the laminar surface this is the angle this part is called angle so in this regard of the third phalanx we have completed for the description it contains four surface and a uh, and an angle and located just below the second phalanx forming the coffin joint these four surfaces are superficial surface volar surface inferior surface or solar surface interdigital surface and the laminar surface so what are the structure present we have already discussed regarding the superficial surface proximally having the two articular facet for the second phalanx and the distal somewhat one posteriorly in slanter side and inferior or solar surface having flat wide above and narrow below and finally converted in the angle and these also contain the some sensitive lamina sensitive lamina present all around this of the third phalanx but more less number are in the interdigital space this is interdigital space in between two and this having the extensor process for the attachment of the tendon of the extensor group of the muscle and the volar foramen and last was the laminar surface this is the in the form of slope man, manner and having sensitive lamina over the this surface and finally it converted into the bland part or pointed bland process anteriorly that is called the angle of this third phalanx so i think this is clear if any question you may ask otherwise we have some distinguished point in different species we will discuss so this is the can proceed forward or we will discuss here any point you are in the last you can discuss any point or any query aage badhe sir last one last one yes, right sir last one ha jab hum tulna karte hain kisi ghode ko dekhte hain to ghoda jo hota hai usme one digit hota hai hai na jab ki cattle buffalo sheep goat pig in sab mein do digit hota hai jo ki well developed hota hai baki rudimentary hota hai jisko hum dick cloth ke roop mein jante hain है ना जब हम चर्चा करेंगे देखेंगे एक बैल को या एक गाय को जब पैर रखती है तो वहां दो डिजिट आता है जो कि ग्राउंड के कंटेक्ट में होता है और वो डिजिट क्या होता है फैलिंग्स को रखता है जो फर्स्ट सेकंड एंड थर्ड फैलिंग्स के रूप में जाना जाता है जिसकी संरचनाएं भी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस बट इन केस ऑफ द इक्वाइंस ओनली वन डिजिट आर डेवलप्ड एंड 
they digits contain like the ox three phalanxes and three sesamoid bones okay so here only one digit the third it concern jo ye matlab rakhta hai digit jaise ki maine padha wahan par metatarsal jaisa hota hai dog mein panch hota hai aadmi mein bhi panch hota hai usi metatarsal se phalanx juda rehta hai लेकिन इसके केस में जो मेटाटार्सल थे तीन थे दो तीन चार याद आ रहा होगा दो तीन चार इन दो तीन चार में एक आगे की तरफ बिल डेवलप्ड हो गया तीसरा और दूसरा और चौथा एक स्प्लिंट बोन के रूप में रह गया था तो यही जो है तीसरा आगे की तरफ बढ़ता है जो कि डिजिट को रखता है और ये डिजिट फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फैलिंग्स को रखता है और थ्री सीसामार्ट बोन को रखता है अब कर रहा है इच फैलिंग्स एपियर्स लाइक द कम्बाइंड कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग फैलिंग जब हम एक फैलिंग्स को देखते हैं तो एक दूसरे से इस तरह से जुड़ा हुआ रहता है कि देखने में एक ही लगता है कि एक फैलिंग्स है तो कहता है फर्स्ट फैलिंग्स में पीछे की तरफ प्लांटर सरफेस में एक वी सेप्ड एरिया होता है जो कि क्लियर कट दिखता है हम दिखाएंगे पिक्चर में इसके बाद दिस एरिया बिगनिंग फ्रॉम द प्रोग्रीमल टिवर्सिटी एंड कवरिंग द डिस्टल विच फर्निश द अटैचमेंट ऑफ डिस्टल सिसमाइड लिगामेंट okay so first phalanx having an uh, important structure its plantar surface or volar surface posteriorly but not throughout the length posteriorly but not through only its proximal part having a v shaped area which is for the tuberosity with for the tuberosity and for the attachment of distal sesamoidian ligament okay proximal phase is articular and divided into sagittal group into two part like the like the first phalanx of the ox like the first phalanx of the ox for asphi this question is for pius pius is here pius is connected or not yes, pius you tell me yes sir ah uh, this question proximal phase or articular is divided into two parts by a sagittal group that is concave area Which is for the attachment of fill in the blank. Proximal part of the first phalanx in case of the equine having two articular concave area, which is for the attachment of. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> प्रोग्रीमल पार्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट फैलिंग डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट बाईटल ग्रुप कनकेव एरिया दिस इज द कनकेव ना दिस इज द कनकेव एरिया दिस इज द कनकेव एरिया for the attachment of distal part of metatarsal bones and hmm. other sentence was volar surface or plantar surface means posteriorly having a v shaped area this is the v shaped area we have already discussed in theoretical theoretical point this is the v shaped area proximally upar ki taraf proximally upar ki taraf and piche ki taraf not throughout the length proximally having the two tubercle this is the tubercle here here but lateral one is well developed this is the lateral tubercle and forming a v shaped area so this sentence v shaped area okay so we have discussed here there are one digit that is the third is main develop um, uh, they contain three phalanges and each phalanges combined with each other in connection to each other externally we are not able to separate but when we go dissect the bones superficially uh dissect the muscles and the skin then three phalanges are clear visible so first phalanx it plantar surface the volar surface present v shaped area for and also the two tuberosity proximally and this out of two lateral one is the larger and also is for the distal sesamoid ligament proximal phase having two articular area divided by a sagittal group in the form of concave area which is for the attachment of distal part of the metatarsal medial one is the larger and lateral phase we have the tubercle we have already seen this lateral phase is having the tubercle this is the lateral phase having the tubercle and this is the medial part from here to here is known as medial part so when we see minutely the medial part is larger 
and laterally a smaller and lateral surface having a tubercle laterally on its posterior surface okay so second phalanx that was the uh, first phalanx second phalanx is short bone and wing more wide than the lung this is saying only about this one next structure is similar this is the more width having the more width in comparison to its length so the structure is somewhat similar to that of the ox and located in between first and second forming pastern joint and coffin joint here that's only about the second phalanx and this is the third phalanx you see here this is the third phalanx this is the third phalanx this is the plantar surface yes solar surface this is the superficial surface so for the description of the third phalanx it contains three surface three border and two angle out of three surface one is the volar surface we have already seen solar surface means those is comes in contact with the ground and another those facing towards the upper part this is the superficial articular surface this is the superficial articular surface three surface this is the superficial articular surface and this is the volar surface or solar surface so one surface from here to here second surface this one and third surface is this one this area so you see here on y1 superficial surface articular surface adapted to the distal part extremely by the second phalanx and distal sesamoid bone volar surface means piche ki taraf is divided by a semilunar crest into a large concave solar surface and a small semilunar flexor surface later the present uh, central prominent area side of which is the volar foramen which leads to the semilunar notch of this bone and crest and the prominent area of hernia for the attachment of deep flexor tendon muscle so this sentence is saying about this one this is the solar surface or we can say the volar surface having the two demarcation on this area proximally and laterally proximally and laterally which is for the attachment of external part of the hoop that is made up of the keratinine it look like a black color here is comes in contact with this is so it is somewhat flat and having some sensitive hole which is for the insertion or for the supply of blood vessel and the nerve in the form of sensitive lamina in the form of sensitive lamina so we completed the volar surface that is the solar surface or that is the plantar surface and next is the anterior or superior surface or sorry border that is known as coronary border border is this one there are three border anterior border superficial border superior border or coronary border posterior border or also known as posterior superior border and distal border so this border you see here this is the anterior or superior border from here to here this border means where the two demarcation between here to here second and third so this is the superior border or anterior border or this one is this border is first border is this one second border is this one and third border is this one so one by one this one is the superior or anterior border also known as coronary border we are about the middle of the extensor process or may pyramidal process for the common extensor tendon muscle and posterior superior border is nearly a straight and forms posterior limit of the superior articular surface so two border are clear one is the anterior superior behind that this is the anterior superior from this one and behind that from here to here and this, this back side is known as posterior and this is the another border that is known as the last border is the distal border which comes in contact with the crown so this is the distal border this is the distal border this is the anterior aage ki taraf superior upar ki taraf below that behind that posterior and superior border posterior and superior border this one behind that posterior and superior and this is the anterior border anterior superior border or also known as coronary border this is 
coronary border also known as the coronary border and this border from here to here is known as distal border this is the area distal border and this is the surface this is the solar surface okay so he is saying about the posterior or superior border is nearly a straight and forms the posterior limit of superior articular surface distal border is irregular notched with the wider notch in front he is saying about this one this is the distal border this is the irregular from here to here here to here irregular here also is irregular and somewhat there is present of notch not in the form of a smooth or regular so this sentence saying about this sir this distal border so this is the anterior superior border that is a coronary border and this is the distal border and behind that this is the superior posterior border so three borders are clear in respect of the third phalanx of the horse a angle or wing project backward and divided into two upper and lower part by a notched foramen this proximal border of the angle carry the cartilage of the third phalanx so angle or wing projected backward and divided into upper and lower part so this is the angle he is saying about this one this is the angle this angle and this angle piche ki taraf aur niche ki taraf this angle is divided into two parts four dorsally is prominent and after becomes notched this angle is for the attachment of second phalanx so up to this this is clear regarding the phalanx of the horse now phalanx of the pig as we know pig is a ho double hoofed animal like the cattle buffalo and sheep and goat so there is a one disease is known as fmd foot and mouth disease is only present in case of the sheep goat cattle buffalo sometime in pig also due to their two digits and it is not happening or present in case of the equine so this fmd is absent not present in case of the equine so like the ox here the two chief digit third and fourth because metatarsal was present panch tha jisme se do hi aage ki taraf badha और वही दो आगे जो बढ़ा वो थर्ड एंड फोर्थ के रूप में जो कि थ्री डिजिट को रखता है देर आर टू एस एस ए डिजिट जिसे उसमें पढ़े थे जिसको हम लोग डी क्लॉक के रूप में जानते हैं कैटल बफेलो में हेयर एल्सो टू एस एस ए डिजिट प्रेजेंट बट नॉट रिमेंट्री लाइक द शिप गोट एंड कैटल बफेलो एंड हैविंग द फाइलिंग्स इन ईच सिमिलर मैन एंड दैट ऑफ दिट फाइलिंग्स फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड फाइलिंग्स इच डिजिट हैज थ्री फाइलिंग्स इज फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड Phalanx of the third and fourth are well developed. Phalanx third and fourth are phalanx of third and fourth. कहने का क्या मतलब? What do you indicate this third and fourth? Anybody? Phalanx of third and fourth are well developed. Third and fourth कहने का क्या मतलब? कोई बताएगा? Digit. Digit है, right? Digit sir. हाँ कि पांच digit है sir. हम अंग्रेजी को देखें. जब इसकी संदर्शन है, पढ़ें तो अपने अंग्रेजी को सामने रख लें. ठीक है? तो उस इंग्लिश में कह रहा है कि ये जो तीसरा चौथा है तीसरा चौथा जो है वेल डेवलप होता है और ये तीन फैलिंग रखता है और बाकी जो होता है साइड का जो दो है वो एसेसरी डिजिट के रूप में जाना जाता है इन केस ऑफ द पिग बट इन केस ऑफ द कैटल एंड बफेलोज उसको डी क्लॉक के रूप में जानते हैं ओके फैलिंग ऑफ द सेकेंड एंड फिफ्थ डिजिट आर स्मॉल एंड जनरली डो नॉट रीच टू द ग्राउंड जब जानवर खड़ा होता है तो यही दो डिजिट जमीन के संपर्क में आता है और वो दो नहीं आता देर आर टू प्रोजिमल एंड सिंगल डिस्टाइट बोन प्रेजेंट लाइक द ऑक्स सीट एंड गोट सो दिस इज द डिजिट फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ सो आउट ऑफ थर्ड एंड फोर्थ ओके पहला दूसरा तीसरा चौथा और पांचवा ये हो गया ये डिजिट कहलाएगा यहां से यहां तक कहलाएगा ना ये क्या है एनी बडी दिस इज डिजिट और अनदर बोन हाँ तो ये देखो देखो इसमें कह रहा है कि इसमें से जो पांच है पांच में से चार आता है इन चारों में दो वेल डेवलप होता है डिजिट तीसरा एंड चौथा तो तीसरा कैसे कन्वर्न क्लियर करेंगे ये पहला ये दूसरा ये तीसरा एंड चौथा इसी के बारे में कह रहा है कि तीसरा एंड चौथा वेल डेवलप होता है और दूसरा और पांचवा रहता है लेकिन ग्राउंड के संपर्क में नहीं आता तो दूसरा चौथा यहां दिख रहा दिख रहा है ना ये भी रखता 
तीन फर्स्ट सेकंड एंड थर्ड फर्स्ट सेकंड एंड थर्ड लेकिन ग्राउंड के संपर्क में नहीं आता है लेकिन इन केस ऑफ 